Warden! We are betrayed by the very world we have sworn to protect! The Inquisition is inside, Clarel. We have no time to stand on ceremony. These men and women are giving their lives, Magister. That might mean little in Tavinta, but for the Wardens, it is a sacred duty. It has been many long years, my friend. Too many, Clarel. If my sword arm can no longer serve the Wardens, then my blood will have to do. It will. Stop them! We must complete the ritual! You're doing exactly what Eremond wants. What? Fighting the Blight? Keeping the world safe from Darkspawn? Who wouldn't want that? And yes, the ritual requires blood sacrifice. Hate me for that if you must, but do not hate the Wardens for doing their duty. We make the sacrifices no one else will. Our warriors die proudly for a world that will never thank them. And then your Tevinter ally binds the mages to Corypheus! Corypheus? But he's dead. These people will say anything to shake your confidence, Clarell. Bring it through! I have seen more than my share of blood magic. It is never worth the cost. I trained half of you myself. Do not make me kill you to stop this madness. Be ready with the ritual, Clarell. This demon is truly worthy of your strength. Listen to me. I have no quarrel with the Wardens. I have spared those I could. I don't want to kill you, but you're being used. And some of you know it, don't you? The mages who've done the ritual? They're not right. They were my friends, but now they're like puppets on a string. You cannot let fear sway your mind, Warden Chernoff. He's not afraid. You are. You're afraid that you ordered all these brave men and women to die for nothing. I honor your bravery, my brothers and sisters. But this is not the way. You have been tricked. Clarell, we have come so far. You're the only one who can do this. Perhaps we could test the truth of these charges to avoid more bloodshed. Or perhaps I should bring in a more reliable ally. My master thought you might come here, Inquisitor. He sent me this to welcome you.
destroyed the Grey Wardens. <laughs> you did that to yourself, you stupid bitch. All I did was dangle a little power before your eyes, and you could have waited to get your hands bloody. Where are we? We were falling. Is this... Are we dead? No. This is the fade. The Inquisitor opened a rift. We came through. Survived. I never thought I would ever find myself here physically. Look, the Black City. Almost close enough to touch. This must be very exciting for you, Solus. Any advice you have on what exactly is going on would be wonderful. Cole, how does it feel to be back home? I, I, I can't be here. Not like this. Not like me. It's all right. We'll make it right. This place is wrong. I made myself forget when I made myself real. But I, I know it wasn't like this. It's not how I remember the Fade, either. Perhaps it's because we're here, physically, instead of just dreaming. The stories say you walked out of the Fade at Haven. Was it like this? I don't know. I still can't remember what happened the last time I did this. Well, whatever happened at Haven, we can't assume we're safe now. That huge demon was right on the other side of that rift Eremond was using. And there could be others. Ah, oh, this is shitty. I'll fight whatever you give me, boss. But nobody said nothing about getting dragged through the ass end of Demon Town. In our world, the rift the demons came through was nearby. In the main hall. Can we escape the same way? It 
sounds like our best option. There. Let's go. This is fascinating. It is not the area I would have chosen, of course. But to physically walk within the Fade... Oh, yeah. This must be a dream come true for your crazy ass. Yes. Literally. Solus, you're the expert on this place. Anything helpful? Fade is shaped by intense and emotion. Remain focused, and it will lead you where you wish to go. The demon that controls this area is extremely powerful. Some variety of fear, I would guess. I suggest you remain wary of its manipulations and prepare for what is certain to be a fascinating experience.